let's talk about the controls of your stereo. The controls are the source button and the center button does most everything that you want. You hit the source button until it says FM1 or tuner will come on. Use the arrow buttons here to control to either advance it forward or backwards however you want to. Now to fade the speakers from the inside speakers to the outside speakers you use the center button and you just push it until you until it reads fade. Right now it reads fade and center. If you turn the dial until it reads rear, the rear will be just your outside speakers. It'll turn off the inside speakers. Or if you change it all the way till front and 15, it'll just play the inside speakers and turn your outside speakers off. If you just leave it alone, it'll eventually just go back to the stereo menu and you have control again of your stereo. Or you can cycle this to FM, back to FM1. This stereo has the DVD option built in, so whatever DVD you put in here is tied to our main TV over there. So you put your DVD in here and you can watch it on the TV. That'll also play all the sound through. Typically, depending on how your trailer was equipped, there's also an option on here for aux rear in. And that option, if your trailer is equipped, will allow the main TV, whatever's playing on it, whether it's local over the TV or if your trailer has a satellite, whatever's playing on that TV, on your main TV, will also play through your stereo speakers. So you can turn the volume up if you want or get better game action, things like that. Hitting the source button uh, to USB or the front end will allow you to put your hook an iPhone up to it with a cable, things like that. Lastly, if you press, to turn it off, you press the source button until you hear the stereo beep and it turns it into standby. You can also press and hold it until it completely turns it off so you don't have the blue lights in the middle of the night or the red lights depending on which stereo you have in the middle of the night keeping you awake. Putting it into standby mode generally does the job as far as turning it off. It'll be just fine, but you can press and hold and completely turn it off.